Hey guys, this video is going to be an update on this 3D printed shoulder stock that I've made. It mounts to an A2 buffer tube, and the, I think the design is pretty close to done. Um, there are a couple, a couple of things you got to sort out if you uh, go with this configuration. First of all, there's uh, not going to be any um, end plate on here, so one option I think you can do is, uh, is there are some end plates I've seen without that little finger that goes up, so you could put that in between the uh, the tube and the receiver to hold your spring in. Uh, the other thing, um, what I might end up doing is since my receiver is tapped here, you can just put a little set screw in there and that will hold the, the spring in there. Uh, I don't know about the set screw backing out or anything. I might I could just try some blue Loctite. So anyways, back um, onto the shoulder stock. Uh, you might be able to see from this angle, it's, um, uh, it's, it's angled a little bit here and a little bit more on the end. It tapers right here and it's got a little sling loop right here. And I have, um, Done a bunch of stuff to try and break it, and uh, besides abusing it, um, uh, even that might be considered a little bit of abuse, but uh, you can drop the rifle on this and it's not going to break it. It's got just a little bit of give to it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this neoprene, which uh, I think it's a neoprene, it's some sort of foam that's maybe um, just over a quarter inch thick, uh, sorry, an eighth of an inch, inch thick, and I'll stick it onto here. I'll have to cut it out to the profile, and this is a similar shape. This might show up on camera a little bit. It's got a a reinforcing rib right here and it's got um, the reliefs in there to, to fit the back of this pretty well. Uh, one improvement I still got to make is on the back of this I got to put a, uh, I guess you'd call it a counter bore um, so that when you put a screw in here to secure it uh, it's not going to be sticking out um, so that when you put your foam over it um, you won't have a bump or anything. It feels really good to shoulder um, so if you can see right here I'm holding the tube vertical so there is no um, there is no vertical part to the shoulder stock and I prefer this because this part feels good when you're um, just kind of uh, messing around shooting and then when um, when I shoot standing up um, I, I end up actually only putting the very tip of the shoulder stock on my shoulder so uh, um, having this uh, this additional angle is pretty nice because a lot of the other ones out there um, they're actually curved this way and so they actually dig into your shoulder and some of them are just flat and that's a little bit better but not 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 uh, nearly as nice as this. Um, so yeah, I will, uh, I'll consider putting this on the, in the description below. Um, but uh, what I would prefer is to have uh, people learn how to model it themselves. So let me know in the description below if, uh, if you guys are lazy and just want the model or maybe I'll, maybe I'll upload a broken model so you gotta fix it or something. But I could also do a tutorial, which uh, would probably be about 20 minutes um, on how to make this in Fusion 360. And it'll poop out a STL file that you can 3D print. Um, I've also considered trying to make this on my mill. I can make it out of aluminum or Delrin and uh, it will be a little bit of a challenge but I think I can do it. Um, I'll see if I got time to do that but otherwise that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.